Hey everybody, welcome to Shrink Coach TV. I'm Anthony Renna. This is the show where we take you inside some of the country's best fitness facilities, give you a tour, and sit down with the owner and talk a little bit of shop. We're brought to you by Marigold Foods, marigoldbars.com. These guys are the best. Today's bar, Choco Nut. It's getting a little nutty in here. It's uh, some uh, coconut in there. It, oh man, this bar is awesome. I can't get enough of it. Um, and uh, But Marigold Foods is really cool. No soy non-GMO, no lactose, low sugar, tastes great, no preservatives, you can't beat these bars. Uh, Marianne's doing a great job with them and uh, check them out, marigoldbars.com. They're giving us, or me, the opportunity to bring these shows to you uh, to go check out some of these gyms. And today, we're going down to Tinton Falls, New Jersey, and to hang out with Bobby Smith, the energetic Bobby Smith at Ripped or Reach Your Potential Training. Really good model here. One lesson, if you take away anything, is just the organization and the logistics of what they're doing. Great job, him and his wife. His wife has the physical therapy and then he's, uh, they spill it over a little bit into the facility, big facility. He's got everything dialed in, uh, but really great place, great guy. Lots to learn here. Let's go down to Tinton Falls, New Jersey to Reach Your Potential Training. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to Tinton Falls, New Jersey, close to the shore. I might have to go take a little dive in the ocean. I'm here with Bobby Smith. We're here at Rip. Bobby, yes. thanks for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Man. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, I first saw it on uh, when Patrick Beef did the Athletes Acceleration Speed. Play. Yeah. I was like, holy cow, this place is huge. How big is it? Yeah, it's actually 16,000 square feet. From wall to wall, we have 60 yards of turf. Then we have an extra 4,000 in the back where we do our warm up and our lateral movement. And then also we have 6,000 square feet of rubber where we do all our training. And then the rest is offices or bathrooms. Cool. All right. Yeah. So now, we're in a building. This is an interesting uh, uh, story here. Right. You rent out from a nut, from a, a bigger company, a better company. Yes, I would. Life, yeah. life. Um, you rent out your this space. Right. This building. Uh, yeah, huge. We're inside the American Red Cross building. So, uh, okay. yeah, they actually use this building for storage and whatnot. So, which is great because we really don't have any tenants right next to us. Oh, nice. So, we can blast the music, slam yeah. the med balls, and no complaints at all. So, Very cool. that's and really so great. She has a physical therapy company. Yep. Um, and, um, so basically you guys work together, obviously. To Correct. Oh. Yeah, so she was in practice for about eight years before we started Ripped. And she was housed inside two other sports performance facilities that closed because of poor management. And after the second one closed, we just looked at each other and said, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, and we, uh, we actually started in this size from oh, day really? one. Oh, yeah, wow. so wow. I started with seven athletes and it was... Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Nice. And uh, we were obviously looking for something this big, and it just fell into our lap. And we're like, we just got to take advantage of it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And um, let's talk about um, who's coming in here because you're really not even open yet. You right. Are. Your wife is. Correct. Yeah. So uh, we predominantly see athletes, and about 70% of them are female athletes. And really? girls' soccer is our number one sport by far. Wow. Yeah. And it's just amazing that how our programs evolved and adapted because of that, yeah. because of who we train. It's amazing. And yeah. you have a product, Training Female Athletes, Yes, right? we do, yes. yes. Okay, we'll have a link to that. Um, who's coming in here? Um, like, at, like, what's the makeup with the adult population? Yeah, adult that? population, about 8%. And that's basically, you know, parents of our kids. And yeah. they were always complaining that the kids were having all the fun. Yeah. So we're like, all right, let's start an adult program. And uh, we obviously, you know, we really just specialize in athletes and we really don't want that to grow at all because then it takes over from the athletes because we have a class in the morning and then the classes at night, we're starting to build up and we're like, hey, 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 that's starting to take over from yeah. the kids. So yeah. we just talked about that with Vince Gabriel talking a lot of people get in that danger zone of like, half athletes and half and they don't right. know who they are right and the facility is designed a certain way yeah and it scares off the other one no doubt up out of business yeah and it's because you know adults are so consistent in the sports performance world kids are so inconsistent yes. where it's like summer and winter we're rolling and it's then spring and fall is like what are we doing to stay alive and afloat because yeah. of that yeah. and we've had to learn that that you know just like an ice cream shop that's you know kicking it in the summer 
but then it's just making sure that you hold on to your finances during those slow times and doing other things to make sure that you're building and getting in money. Absolutely. Okay, uh, talk to me about the membership types though. Right. Is it one on one? Is it group training? All group training. All yeah, group, all group training. Group. Yeah. Okay. So it's, you know, bound the high school season. So we have four seasons fall, winter, spring, and summer. And the fall, winter, and spring are 12 weeks long. That meets two times per week predominantly for 90 minutes long. Okay. And then for that, then we have a week of makeups, get assessments, new athletes in, and then the next season starts. Love it. So yeah. you take that other week off because four times 12 is 48. There's right. Four more weeks left. Yeah. Um, no, it's a great way to run the program to have right. that little break in there too. And right, and then that gets the new athletes in and there's always the parents, hey, can we try the program out? And we're like, well, we don't really do that, but this is the time to do it. So come try it out and then if they're a competitive athlete, they love it and then they sign up for the program. Yeah, my favorite sign so far in, in, in I think in any gym is no parents allowed in yeah. the gym. Yeah, we try and keep them out and yeah. you can just tell like when the parents come in with the kids, the kids aren't themselves. And then when the parents get out and then the kids start opening up and then you can really have them that freedom for them to explore and adapt and learn. Yeah, and we'll, we'll look at it, but also the way you designed it, there's really, there's nowhere for them to sit. No, comfortable. yeah, it's not. And a lot of parents actually, you know, there's a mall right down the road. They go there, or wait in their car and it's, we have a small waiting room because of that. Like we don't want the parents in here and it's 90 minutes long, so they shouldn't be staying around that long. You should tell your wife to run out to a coffee shop. Yeah, there's a coffee shop <laughs> I know. Over there somewhere, so <laughs> very cool. Well, let's get a tour of this huge place and uh, we'll check it out. All right, sounds great. Welcome to the RYPT. This is where the athletes come in through the doors and they walk right down this way to get to our RIP News. All right, this is where we always start the athletes. They come on in, they know the routine by now, they pull their card, they get the foam roller out so they're mentally and physically prepared because when that clock hits their time, it's ready to go. Very cool. RIP News, you call it? RIP News, yeah. Yeah, come on through. Right now, this is my wife's business, the Elite Sports Physical Therapy. They're uh, practicing right now. We got some of our coaches. Guys. Yeah. Going? So this is actually their side right here. So they always use these power lift racks and then their, you know, all the practice that they do is going to be right in that area over here. So over here, we got the seven commandments that we go over with all our athletes. And then right over here is the rip news. Yeah. Yeah. So they come on over here, they sign in, they have their cards sitting up for them right there, put their stuff in the cubby. We got the foam rollers over here. We have the pictures, we go over for what them the foam roll for each day. And then we bring it in, go over the rip news, and then shoes are off and it's ready to go for that 15 minutes of the dynamic warm up. Cool, Let's check out the rip news here. Okay, and basically this is just what they're in for, for the day or for the? For the week, what's going on. So we always have the quote of the week, any news that's going on in our facility, we give them a nutrition trip, uh, tip and then a trivia tip as well too. Very cool. Yeah. I love it. And I love all the atmosphere with all of the, the different colleges. Oh yeah, and stuff. definitely. So and then this orange area here, this is where the dynamic warm up takes place. So two athletes in between each. This is about 15 minutes long and then we have them get the shoes back on and then we go into what's set up for today, our day two lateral movement, which we take advantage of our grid system. Um, as you can see, we have 4,000 square feet back here and the cones are four yards by four yards, which we felt like is a great way to space the facility out where we each athlete, we can see what they're doing, and then that way we can coach them up individually, even though they're in a group setting. Very cool. Yeah. Bob, what's uh, if those open up over there? Those the garage doors, yep. Do you do anything outside? We don't do anything okay. outside, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we have the capability, everything that we do need is in here. From wall to wall, we have 60 yards, so we can take advantage of all the short intervals and sprinting that we need. Very cool. So yeah. they do their, their warm-ups here. Warm-up in the orange uh, cone area, then the speed and agility, which lasts about 21 minutes, broken up into three sections, mechanics, integration, and application. Then we'll go into the plyometrics. So that lasts about nine to 10 minutes, and we split the group up into two. So we go into the upper body plyometric with our medicine balls, and then lower body plyometrics with our jumping. We usually have two coaches per each um, group. And then that way they flip flop, get a couple of sets in there, and then we hit the weights finally, which we have for, set up for our day two. For our day two, we go into you know our hand cleans, power cleans, or then we get into that bench press. Very cool. Yeah. So we keep the group size to about 16 athletes per, so that way we have three athletes per station. 
and then that way we can make sure that once someone's doing a hand clean, someone else is doing some shoulder mobility or shoulder activation to get ready for our bench press. And then also with our bench press, we incorporate, this is a great thing that we incorporated. Um, yeah. So just hooked it up right there and then we do all our pelvic presses right from there. So we're grabbing there, working that anti-rotation, holding here, holding out, multiple things that we can do from here. And then what our program has adapted into is that all our day two is that anti-rotation using this because our day one is our linear speed, which we have to take advantage of this, you know, turf right here. Yeah. So the program has evolved to fit our needs as well too. Yeah. So that way when we're in the weight room, this whole area is open. So we take advantage of the valve slides, working those hamstring curls, the hip lifts, the eccentrics, and then also the TRX as well. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah, each season we look to go uh, five, right? Five, yeah, three athletes, 15. Three, yeah. yeah, so usually someone misses, so that way we keep it to 16. Yeah. And then we'll hit up our C block, which is done in the dumbbell area, which another group comes in. So we schedule on the half hour. So that way we have the whole facility zoned out, which I highly recommend, because that way we're not running into one another. Yeah, so yeah, we're just following. We're just, we're just following around. around the whole 90 minutes, yeah. So then we'll go into the dumbbell area where we utilize the dumbbells and the kettlebells. And then also, too, we're going to start exploring uh, the sandbags. You know, Josh came in and uh, gave us a demonstration, and we're definitely going to start looking into utilizing them as well, too, because there's only so much that we can do in this area because of our time. Yeah. And then we'll go back into, you know, then hitting up the conditioning where we utilize in our day two some non-impact. So we got the ropes here, we got bikes, we can use prowlers, the slide boards, whatnot. Cool. So you, got, you stay away from that area where your wife's... Yeah, from. so they normally have that whole area over here, and then we utilize, they utilize this 15 yards. That is always theirs. Oh, okay. No matter what. Okay. But then also, too, in the summertime, they're not here when we're here. So the college kids, we have full access to the whole facility. So we take advantage of that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the logistics are obviously super important. No doubt. And then that's the thing, you know, especially young coaches, they're programming, they don't take that into consideration. And that's one of the things that we do in our internship program is like, all right, well, now you have to program for our needs as well, too. So take into consideration how many pieces of equipment you have, how many kids are going to be in there at that same time. So when we purchase something, it's got to be at least, you know, six to eight of them because of that. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right, let's go sit down and talk to you. Yeah, sounds good. All right, Bob, thanks for the tour, man. Love it. Love the logistics. Coach Boyle would uh, be loving this right now. Nice. Um, but uh, I wanted to first give you the gold seal. Of Hell yeah. The marigold bars. These are awesome. Um, nice. Uh, Non-GMO, gluten-free, oh, sugar. Nice. No preservatives. you got to put these in the fridge. There's some snacks in there. All right. But Marigold Bars is our sponsor now, and they're allowing us to come down. Great. Got to look into it, yeah. visit more gyms as well. So, nice. Uh, that's Thank you. you. Um, let's talk about... Um, we already mentioned a little bit about, uh, you know, 92% athletes. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, always a great way to kind of pick your niche. Yeah. But... You open at what time? Three thirty. Three thirty. Right? Yeah. Okay. You ever have that kind of like, well, maybe we could get some people in here at you know at eight or nine or some more adults right. in here. Do you ever get tempted by that? I mean, every business owner does. You want to maximize your square footage and make the most money you can, but it's also, do you want to go away from your principles? Is it about making money? You know, obviously you have to support your family and your needs, yeah. but you know, that's where it's the, you know, I have the luxury of my wife's business that the physical therapy and telling you it's, you know, I don't know why more business owners don't do that. And don't uh, at least incorporate the two together. They have to, yeah. you know, cut the expenses right in half, right off the get go. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps that everything downward. That way you don't have to, you know, sacrifice and do things that you don't want to do just to make money. Yeah. And, you know, do we have some parents that come in in the morning? Yeah, we have some personal training that yeah. goes on here, but predominantly, like our day kicks off at 3:30 with the first group. So. Yeah, yeah. Now with the physical therapy too, uh, you know, you guys aren't the same business because there are laws. Every state. Absolutely, is different, yeah. Right. And, yeah, and completely. So you rent from. Rent from her, okay. yes. And it's a completely separate entity. You know, even though that we're, you know, wife and you know husband. Yeah. But yeah. And it's, you know, great, but also, too, you know, 
working with your wife and having a business with your wife is obviously brings some challenges as well too that we try not to bring that home but sometimes you know it does happen yeah we talked to the Cosgroves about that we talked to Lauren and Jason Pack about that what 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 would you guys what would your advice be for yeah. husband and wives that are trying to open the business well I think what is great is that this is all out here is my space yeah. and then she has her office okay so even though that we're in the same you know facility yeah. we basically don't really see each other that yep. much you know but then you know when we go home you know we try not to you know leave it out but obviously we both are so passionate and love what we do yeah. that it does happen Lauren and Jason talked about that too they said you know people say don't talk about work when you get home but right. they, they, they're like this is what we're living this, this yeah this is it and then when you own your own business you are married to it yeah you are so, so it is so true now what you have some other additional revenue streams as well your wife has another business as well right uh, uh the, well that's inside here so another okay. person that actually rents from us oh it's another person yeah no, okay, no cool. separate entity as well too and we wanted to make it kind of a one-stop shop so it's turn to consultant where they have high school athletes come in and try and go through that process of getting recruited and find finding out what college and university is the best for them Very and it you know it's a it's great because it educates not only them but the parents as well too yeah. because it does get very confusing and it's in line with the brand as well you're training 92 percent athletes that's it and know? that's what we wanted to be in here yeah. something that not just renting out to something that's not going to help us yeah now you had a partner originally adam fight yes right? and mary kate uh his wife uh had offered a job and yeah right this springfield and you know they definitely it was all three of us that made this what it is today yeah. and you know they definitely they're part of ripped you know even though that the why is me they are mo all part of ripped as well too and it you know couldn't be where it is today without them and um it was a great partnership but you know obviously everything comes to an end yeah and uh we still left on great terms you know adam and i are still best friends and yeah. everything with that but obviously he had to do what's best for his family and mary Kay had to go into you know her needs what's been the challenge for you has there been any challenges uh hell yes okay, yeah, absolutely <laughs> you know adam and i had a great partnership where it was kind of like you know we did things together and then there was stuff that he did and then there was stuff that i did and that was you know what worked great for us because it's when adam did his stuff i ain't questioning it you just do it and well, when i did my those things then? And, you know basically <laughs> i was just talking to someone about the other day you know uh, adam took you know six hours to build this cabinet over here and i was like you know what adam you're not doing that ever again you know, you're going and sitting on the office and working on that website and making sure that we're getting people in here. And then uh, one of the first times we're sitting here mopping, I'm like, Adam, get the hell out of here. You know, you ain't mopping, all right? You know, he is, uh, you know, brilliant and is really, you know, smart. And it, that wasn't where his needs were. were. You know, yeah. I said, you know, I'm taking care of the facility. I'll do all that. That's my job. Mm -hmm. All right, your job is make sure this program is up and running and making sure that everything yeah. is great with that. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just amazing that the type of person Adam is that when he left, he shot videos of everything that he did do. Oh, and okay. it was like, you know, this is how I run payroll. This is how I, you oh, know, do that. Nice, and nice. it was just, that's the type of person yeah. that he is. And yeah. it's, you know, those things that I never did before. Yep. Even though I was the main, you know, I was the owner. Yeah. That was Adam's job and that was Adam did. So, uh, so you, you've taken over, really? Taken over, all, everything. Oh, wow. So you're yeah. not farming any of that out yet? Um, well, I do have a business manager that she comes okay. in and does deal, you know, those, that, stuff but majority of that's my, on my plate now as well too yeah now you were a high level athlete yourself yeah um in what event i threw the javelin, javelin. in track and field yeah okay, cool have you attracted javelin throwers because of that at all or no it's not um well actually my coaches yes so my coaches that i've trained they come from you know javelin uh, throwers are unique uh they're a crazy bunch so yeah. they when you train them and you know help them achieve great things they stay loyal to you yeah so we've had a couple coaches come on board because Very of that cool. yeah um what about like i i was talking about the logistics in here coach Boyle would have been so proud um to see it um but was that a learning curve or did you oh guys yeah come in here and absolutely say, okay. no 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 <laughs> and then when i tell people it took us about three years i would say three years so okay. we're like wow we have a well-oiled machine now yeah and it was you know in the beginning that you know adam had a group at 3 30 and then i had the four o'clock and one thing you know like i'm running into adam's group and we're like what's going on and yeah. then it's like we sat down bro broke it down by time everything by time 15 minutes i'm going to be here yeah. all right 21 minutes i did spina jelly i'm going to be here nine minutes i'm going to be here and it's just like boom 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 
all right, get them in, next group coming in. Yeah. And it was just, you know, trial and error. And that's what I tell people, like, you know, they come to us and like, man, this is amazing. I'm like, it's not how it started like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, the system obviously is not far off while we trained them, yeah. but the logistics was. Yep. And that how organized that we are. And it's little things that like, you know, Adam's like, before he left, you know, he's like, oh, I took my son's gymnastics and they had green dots out. And then, then we got the dots out when we get to C block. All right, over here, RDLs, you know, over here, red dots, you're doing your vertical push, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's just keeping it organized and colored system too as well, because that's so easy to be like, hey, all right, we're starting at green, you're going to break down at the green. Yeah. You know, it's just, you have to keep it simple for kids yeah, and parents. Yeah, yeah you, know? you really do. And, and for, oh yeah, for everybody, really. right? Not just kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has been for you, like if you look at this and say, man, I wish we would have done this sooner or better, uh, yeah. what would you have done uh, in here? Yeah, I really, you know, not, I couldn't even think of anything. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's been, you know, it was well designed from the get go. Mm -hmm. And we knew that, I think that's the problem with people is that our system evolved around our facility. And it's usually the other way around where people are like, this is my system and then I'm going to do it in this facility when kids are running into one another and the, you know, and you have three dumbbell exercises and then kids are taking stuff everywhere. It's like, all right, this is our facility and like Adam and I and Mary Kate met like, all right, well, we're not doing any dumbbells during our main lift because then the kids would be all over the place. Yeah, so yeah. it's like our system has evolved because of our facility. Yeah. And that's why we've made it. And that's what I go and tell people. And when you, you know, we have our system out there, this is the best system for our facility. It's not going to be for your facility. Yeah. You need to take our principles and adapt them to your environment. Yeah, I love it. Now, let's talk about, I didn't ask you earlier about how many, how much staff is. Can you, how much staff? Yeah. And then what's the hierarchy? So you have you and you have a business manager. Right. Is there any other? There's two other full-time employees that have been with me for about two and a half years now, started with our internship program and have stayed ever since. Nice. And that's definitely where we hire from is that internship program. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's uh, in the summer it's full on you know just summer summers that's when we felt it was the best you know because since our hours are so sporadic during the year that the summer like all right you're coming in with the college group you're watching them all right then you're gonna train then we're gonna sit down go over it yeah. then we're gonna come in and go to the high school group okay so our summer internship program is usually that's where the best interns come from yeah. Yeah. How do you, like tell us how that works for you guys? Like, did you go reach out to colleges? We've reached, you, yeah, reached out to colleges, reached out, you know, former athletes is great too as well that we get a lot of people from, and it's evolved where it's the 12 weeks long. The six, first six weeks is learning our system and learning, you know, our whys, and then that last six weeks is now you're coaching. All right, yeah. the summer hit. We need you. You're coaching, and we give you as much responsibility as you can handle. With the internship program, I know I've seen some other things where they the, the school might have a requirement. Yeah. If, if they're coming from school. No doubt. And then we get those kids like, oh, I have to do 120 hours. Well, that's great. Ours is 500. Okay. So <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're working 30 to 40 hours a week. Yeah. Full on. And it's what you put in is what you're going to get out. And I always use the analogy like I can give you a fish or I can teach you how to fish. And through our internship program, you're going to fish. You're going to learn how to fish. So once you get out there in the real world, you're going to know why we did things the way we did them. And then you can learn and adapt and make it your own program. Yeah, absolutely. It's, that's an important piece of it is like the, that learning how to fish. That's right? it. Um, what about um, for you in terms of, you know, when you look back, when, you, when people ask you for advice with the facilities, yeah. uh, what, you, what, what, what are you telling them? I want yeah. to open a gym. What, what are you going right. to Right. I would say uh, rethink it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's a lot harder than you think. Yes. And just having a facility this big, you know, things come up all the time. There's, you know, things that we didn't even think about, you know? Like we have an ejector pump that if someone throws something down the toilet, it has to get cleaned out. Yeah. And then it's like little things like that that you'd never even thought about that cost you a lot of money. And running a facility, it's hard. It's hard work. Yeah. But it's that, what I'd say, it's that grit, that day in and day out, bringing that same energy and enthusiasm because you love what you do. Yeah. And um, I would say start small. Don't start 16,000 square feet. <laughs> but obviously, you know, my wife's business was successful and running up for eight years. So we knew that. We yeah. had some time to build this. Yeah, then you could just kind of, and also she obviously, that's feeding. It's a feeder system. Yeah, as and well. like this winter, we had over 300 athletes, and no matter how good our program is, out of those 300 athletes, someone's going to get hurt. Yeah. And yeah. it's you know fortunate enough, but that's what's great about her facility is that 
you know, she specializes in ACL tears. So someone comes in, it's a devastating injury, but they can see, oh, that person's three months out. Oh, that person's five months out. Oh, they're two months out. I can see exactly where the process is and know that I'm going to be better from this. Yeah, it's, and and it, again, going back to in line with your brand because you you train a lot of we do women, the young young girls in the right, day. and it's kind of like scaring them straight because they walk past the physical therapy practice and it's like yeah. you want to take a pre a proactive approach or reactive approach. So it's either sign up with me now or you're probably going to be going to see the physical therapy. You put a chair in the physical and you say, <laughs> like, "This is what you're going to." No, have. I mean, yeah, but I know what you mean. Um, but uh, what about um, with the coaches? Uh, how many coaches did you say you had? Yeah, we have eight on staff, and which is great because you know some of them work for my wife's business as well because she operates at different hours. Okay. They can work for her, and then they'll come in work for me at the end because, like I said, we don't start till three thirty. Yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah. we have a couple groups then that the three of us can handle. But then once five o'clock hits, like we're rolling yeah. deep, and that's why when we need those extra hands and the assistance coaches, that's you know you know, idle to have if you're going to have groups that big yeah. because you want to make sure that everything is getting coached and we coach everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, he was coaching me already when I ran to the room <laughs> to get the bars. Right. He's telling me to move my arms. Yeah. I mean, it's like he's not, he doesn't stop. Well, any other revenue streams for you, like, like supplements or any, anything? No, you, I mean, you know? we don't really, with the supplements, we've talked about we had some muscle milk that we get to the kids, but you know, the biggest thing is the products that we have. We're actually launching another one on Monday, the complete guides um, or you know, complete warm up that's going to be going okay. on this Monday. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, those have been great, and then getting out, you know, speaking, which is great, and educating. So you know, we've always wanted to educate as many people as possible, and we realized that we're condensed to our facility, so we want to get out there and speak to as many people. So if yeah. I can, you know, instill and change a coach. Coach, how many athletes can I affect through that? Yeah, love it. Yeah. Uh, great. Love what you're doing here. Love the energy. Love the facility. Uh, this is a great, great space. Lots to learn from what you guys are doing here. Bob, Thank you, man. For doing this, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah.